Science Apparatus and Their Uses Today, we will learn about various types of science apparatus and their uses. Have you watched the part 3 of this video? If not, then click on the info card above to watch it. Alright, let's get right into it. Test Tube A test tube, also known as a culture tube or sample tube, is a common piece of laboratory glassware consisting of a finger-like length of glass or clear plastic tubing open at the top and closed at the bottom. Boiling tube. A boiling tube is a small cylindrical vessel used to strongly heat substances in the flame of a Bunsen burner. A boiling tube is essentially a scaled-up test tube, being about 50% larger. Filter funnel. A filter funnel is a laboratory funnel used for separating solids from liquids via the laboratory process of filtering. In order to achieve this, a cone-like Shaped piece of filter paper is usually folded into a cone and placed within the funnel. The suspension of solid and liquid is then poured through the funnel. The solid particles are too large to pass through the filter paper and are left on the paper, while the much smaller liquid molecules pass through the paper to a vessel position below the funnel, producing a filtrate. The filter paper is used only once. If only the liquid is of interest, the paper is discarded. If the suspension is of interest, both the solid residue and non-polar liquids, such as oil, may clog of polyethylene or galvanized steel in using. A brass or plastic mesh filter are typically for automotive and workshop use to filter debris from fuel, lubricating oil and coolant. The screen is reusable and may be cleaned by inverting the funnel and tapping it on a hard surface or popping it out and washing it separately. This helps to avoid spilling any liquids. Bell jar. A bell jar is a glass jar, similar in shape to a bell, and can be manufactured from a variety of materials, ranging from glass to different types of metals. Bell jars are often used in laboratories to form and contain a vacuum. It is a common science. Apparatus used in experiments. Bell jars have a limited ability to create strong vacuums. Vacuum chambers are available when higher performance is needed. They have been used to demonstrate the effect of vacuum on sound propagation. This is all for today's video. If you enjoy this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this video.